I was being pedantic. There's a difference between being pedantic and complaining. Well, I one had, thing you could have been was helpful, and by saying, yeah, you need to thin them out, and then you walk away from it, you could have thinned it out for me. How about that? No, that wouldn't. That would have been setting me up to go, kind of like you said with the trees. Why did you tear out my mushrooms? Oh, it says permission first, and then I'll start ripping things out of the ground. You can always beg for forgiveness. Pine tree stand is coming along nicely. Hmm. Said your stand of pine trees is coming along nicely up on the hill. Okay. Mm I'm moving these other trees up there as I think about it too. In the next day cycle here, basically, I'm gonna make a couple axes and probably cut down that entire pine forest over there. I wish you'd make a couple of. Little rooms we could stick a bed in so we didn't have to keep going underground all the damn time. I'm getting ready to work on that. There you go. Now you're complaining. Now I'm complaining, yes. Let's make sure you keep the two separate. Alrighty. Took up four of them. That leaves you two over there at opposite ends. Huh? <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, where are you at now? I just threw some more wood in the chest. Alright, if you want to go down and get the two of the beds, and I'm working on okay. making one room that we can sleep in. Hell, I was saying about building just a little dirt hut. It just has to be something big enough to stick a couple beds in. Seems like beds break a lot quicker. Yeah, they do. Seems like oh, every, everything, everything breaks everything a lot does. quicker. Yeah, everything does now, it seems like. I can't remember, does it need to be three high for a bed, or can it be too high? don't think it really matters. Okay. I just didn't remember whether you could get stuck in a two eye or not. Oh, might as well make it three then. Just as a, just as the man right after I do that. Just as a temporary shelter. Or at least over the beds, how about that? That's right, go ahead, lay down, sleep. Well, come on. Hang on. Yeah, they fixed it so you don't get nightmares anymore. It checks to see if there's any monsters in the area, and then if there's not. If there's a monster around that's going to bother you, it won't let you sleep. Here's zombies. My stomach growling. It's going brains. Are you wearing chaps? I want brains and eggs. Are you wearing chaps? Quite possibly. I mean, are you wearing leather pants, or did you edit your your? Yes, I'm wearing leather pants. Okay, you're wearing chaps. Uh, I'm wearing chaps on your thing. On mine, they're leather pants. <laughs> crotchless and backless chaps on my side. Well, I'm not responsible. I'm not responsible for the weirdness you put in your texture pack. Yeah. On my screen, they're normal leather pants. If there is such a thing as normal leather pants. Exactly. I 
Quick and Hitchhiker's Guide. We have achieved normality. Repeat, we have achieved normality. Anything else you can't cope with is therefore your own problem. Precisely. Down to eight loaves of bread, so I'm gonna go do a wheat harvest. Okay. What time is it? Quarter to ten. I'm gonna harvest the wheat, come back, and then I'm gonna start me a uh, pot of coffee. There's coffee in Minecraft? Damn straight. Oh, shist. What's that? I forgot when I went to the store, I'm out of coffee. Mm mm. Yeah. Not good. Not good at all. Right, so in one of the next updates that they're talking about, that you won't have to crouch anymore? At all? Or what? On wheat. wheat. Yeah, when you're planting, I don't think you have to crouch anymore after the next update. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, it definitely changes. Yeah, it's everything. one of those things like, you know, everything in the game just seems to be getting just a little bit easier, you know? Yeah. yeah. And then just a little bit easier, and then just a little bit easier. Yeah. I and I, I don't necessarily, <laughs> I don't want the game hard. God knows the game isn't hard by any means. Mm -hmm. Except for staying alive, and that just seems to be a personal problem on my part. Oh, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, it just seems that it just keeps getting, you know, just just that little bit easier and that little bit easier and that little bit easier that, you know, mm. one by one doesn't make doesn't make a difference. But when you add them all up, yeah, I agree with you. It's kind of turning almost survival mode back into creative mode, you know. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. If you don't actually have to work at anything or. You know, and that, and that was that thing. It's not that it's any easier or any harder to go around crouching on, um, crouching, you know, to harvest your wheat and stuff. It's just that's what you did on wheat. Mm -hmm. You know, you knew that you had to crouch when you were on top of your crops. And yep. now, now you don't. So. Crouching's half the battle. All right. Got Joe. I'm going to AFK a second. I think I've got like a cup left in my pot up there. I'll be right back. Okay. Good. And I come back to find my favorite song playing. Apple bottom jeans, jeans, boots with the fur. Sorry. <laughs> Fortunately, it was not that one, and fortunately, I don't know that one, so. Mm. Yes, you do. Don't lie. What the hell song is that? Apple Bottom Jeans. I've never heard Apple Bottom Jeans. Who is it by? I don't, I don't listen to Justin Bieber. I don't either, thank you very much. Thing. Do you think I need to have a uh, a uh, thing in the center to keep you from kind of falling back down in the center? Or do you think you can walk them? I walk up them pretty easy without a beam in the center or whatever. They're the one that's gonna live here. I walked up them fine without a thing in the center. I just ran off the top. I was wondering. I was like, 
Yeah. Well, how'd you hurt yourself then? If I got you a little. Fine. Just got a little bit too close to the top, so. I got too happy. When I'm happy, I hurt myself. Exactly, Brigadier. Exactly. Oh, now you made the happy music go away. Sure. Well, that was dumb. Thank you for calling me dumb. I didn't want to use up my axe on the leaves, so I switched one and happened to switch to a pick. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well done. Well done indeed. Indeed. Doosie. Cheerio, chap. Uh, <laughs> don't ask, because I don't know. Just looking at that very strange gate situation you have there. Yeah, I appreciate it. Can't figure out what else to do with it at the moment, so it's gonna be a strange gate situation. Oh, Anchi. Night time. Yep. Or almost. Yep. There we go. Okay, that was officially creepy. <laughs> when I woke up, my character looked like this, and your character is exactly like this, like literally on my side of the bed like this, looking down at me with an axe. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, God, that's scary. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Would you like some eggs? God. Be like whenever I was living with Psycho. Mm-hmm. I would wake up occasionally and open my eyes, and she'd just be sitting beside the bed staring at me. Be like, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. Just go back to sleep. <laughs> That's when we decided that separate bedrooms was not a bad idea at all. Yep. Like, uh, my name is Earl. Um... Randy takes care of everything basically for him. Cuts his, trims his nose hair, cuts his toenails, <laughs> does all that while he's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Same type of thing. Same type of thing, yeah. <laughs> 